Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. In this video, we're going to be working with our 2006 Chrysler 300 3.5 liter V6. We're going to show you how to remove and replace your vehicle's serpentine belt tensioner. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this and many other vehicles. And if you need parts for your car, you can follow the link down in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. Before removing your serpentine belt, always be sure that you have a belt path diagram. Normally there's one located on the radiator support or on the bottom of the hood. However, if yours is missing, you can use a paint marker and simply draw up what you see on the belt path. We'll start by drawing our pulleys. The first one I see here is the power steering pulley at the top right. Put a P in there. Come across and we have a little one here. This is an idler, so we'll put an I in there. Come down to the bottom left corner. We have a little alternator pulley. Coming back, we have our tensioner, which I like to draw the pivot and a little arm with a little pulley on the end, so we know that that's our tensioner. That loops around, and then right between the tensioner and the idler, we have our crank, which will draw much bigger. Put a C on there. And then right about here, we have our AC compressor. So now we'll just draw the belt along the outside of the pulleys. Comes up, goes under the tensioner, around the crank, under the AC, and around the power steering. And I'm no artist. These are not great drawings by any means. However, it follows the right path. I can see all the pulleys and they're marked. So it's all we need to make sure that everything goes back on correctly. Using a 3 8 drive ratchet, place the square drive into this square 3 8 hole at the bottom of the tensioner and rotate it clockwise to release the pressure on the serpentine belt. Remove the belt from whatever pulley is easiest to reach. Remove your ratchet and finish removing the belt from the pulleys. Remove the 15 millimeter bolt securing the tensioner pulley to the engine with a 15 millimeter socket and ratchet. And remove the tensioner from the engine. Reinstall the tensioner. You'll notice that there's this little stick out here and a small hole offset from the bolt hole. You'll want to make sure that those line up to keep the tensioner straight while you reinstall your 15 millimeter bolt. Torque the bolt to 40 foot pounds with a 15 millimeter socket and a torque wrench. Reinstall your serpentine belt. The best way to reinstall the belt is by flipping it with the ribs facing the engine and sliding it between the tensioner pulley and the engine. Then flip it over so the smooth side is touching the tensioner pulley. Wrap it back under and over the crank, under the crank and around the AC compressor. From there, we'll go around the outside of the power steering pump. We'll go over the idler pulley 
ensure that your belt path is correct and that it isn't snagged or hung up anywhere. We'll keep the alternator part in hand. So when we crank our tensioner, we can slide it over the pulley. Double check that your belt path is correct and fully seated. Release the tensioner and remove your ratchet. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.